Three innocent people just merely checking on a suspicious activity at their son's house next door while they were out of town. A retired prison guard and longtime resident of El Dorado County was gunned down 30 years ago, and the killer is still on the run. The district attorney's office is now, now releasing never before seen stolen items from the murder scene, hoping to generate some new leads. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw shows us the weapons the DA is asking the public to help find. It's the first thing I see in the morning when I leave, and the last thing I see at night when I come home. It's been 30 years, and still Hallie Wing's picture brings tears to Marcia's stump, remembering the grandfather she loved dearly and wondering who killed him. The pain and the loss never, it never leaves you. He was an amazing man, and he was, he was everything to me. Last year, the district attorney's office even recreated the crime, hoping to generate new leads. On June 2, 1986, deputies say Wing was gunned down, interrupting an apparent burglary at his son's ranch and rescue. His wife, Bernice, watched through binoculars as one of those suspects opened fire. To watch her go day after day and still living in that house and still um, reliving, you know, what she had seen, um, just took an amazing toll on her. The Wing family has been a part of El Dorado County for generations, even offering a $25,000 reward. But still, after 30 years, nobody has come forward. They're hoping this new piece of evidence will help crack the case. Somebody knows what happened to that firearm, and if somebody can come forward, give us that information, that we can use to try to solve it. The DA says four guns were stolen that day, and over the years, they were probably sold or traded. Somebody out there is going to check their safe, or they're going to check, you know, their closet, and they're going to say, yeah, this could be the weapon. Take a closer look. These weapons could be a key piece of evidence to solve this 30-year-old crime. I would give up anything. I'd sell my house if I had to, to find justice for my grandfather and find peace for the rest of my family. Well, the family is also offering a $5,000 reward for the stolen items.